Hey YouTube, hope you guys are doing well. Got a fun video for you today. It's a different style. It's a different kind of thing. So I want to see if you guys like it or don't like it. Please let me know in the comment section down below. But as you guys know, the WSOP is going on right now on GG Poker and it's a big, big, big deal. And thankfully, GG Poker has given me access to some cards up coverage of the final tables. Some of the events, not all of them, but this is going to be fun. So this happened last night on my Twitch stream. I got to watch the conclusion to this event. Somebody won a bracelet. First place prize was $300,000. The buy-in for this event was $1,500. And yeah, let's jump into the action. Just to let you know, this is more of a raw form kind of content. I scrubbed through it quickly. I took out some of the breaks and some of the other moments. But this is pretty much what went down on my Twitch channel. So uh, hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think. We got real names. So let's go around the table. Starting with Under the Gun, we got Victor. Starting the final table. Uh, he's starting the final table with 7 million, 14 big blinds. Martin to his left, this is that a French flag? I'm very bad with flags. He's got 7 million. Michael with his similar stack. Yoa, I'm butchering the pronunciation. Rodriguez, look at this line. From under the gun all the way to hijack, everyone's between like, everyone's around that 7 million, which is about 14, 15 big blinds. Chip leader is Oliver. Watch them be very aggressive. And here we go right away. Rich is shoving, and surely Ace King is going to snap it in. And they have a big pot here. Seven million in the pot. I prefer Ace King in these situations, but let's see what happens. Threes holding so far. What an all in here, flipping for you know tens of thousands of dollars. And the river needs an ace or a king. An eight. Pocket threes with a big hold. 7.3 million. And there you go. They're like in fourth. So stacks are kind of shallow here at this bracelet event final table. Um, wow. Okay, chip leader with uh, tens. This could be big as well. Yo, Keats, appreciate it. Welcome for the 38 months, mate. Welcome back to the stream. Appreciate that a lot. Love that to your back, Kev. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that a lot, man. Okay, final nine. So you can see the payouts. Every player is guaranteed $22,000. Eighth is 31K, seventh, 43. So I'm going to be honest. Yes, it's a 9k pay jump, then it's a 12k pay jump, but in terms of buy-ins and you're looking at 300k up top, I would like to see players be a little bit aggressive. Obviously, I've never personally made a final table at the WSOP with all this money for first. Um, so I I just don't think the ladders are that big till the top five. Um, yeah, anyway, Michael raises here. Uh, Oliver flats. Good flop for Michael. Michael checks to the chip later. Ooh, top two for Michael. Ace Queen's been pretty strong since we started this stream. So we're on a 30 minute delay, you guys. This is a stream provided by GG Poker. Thank you to them for giving us coverage. Big bet size here, and that's gonna end the hand. That's gonna end the hand. What was the buy-in? $1,500. And here we go, pocket tens. Michael with 10 million chips, they are in second place. I'm unfamiliar with most of these players. These guys are probably sicko legends, you know? They're probably beasts that I'm a little bit unaware of. Couple crushers. Hey, you guys probably know these crushers. Pocket tens, raise and take it. Boys and girls, I feel like the stream... I feel like I need to grab a beverage, man. I don't like to, to have a little bit of alcohol when I'm playing, but I feel like this, this calls for a brewski, you know? Kmart, I like the Raiders sweatshirt. Yeah, dude. Oakland Raiders no more, the Las Vegas Raiders, baby. My franchise has moved. Victor, I think, is going to find a shove. It sucks that, yeah, Jose has two bigs, but, uh, like, we can ram it in because small blind can't really call that wide, and even big blind can't call off or half their stack. So, oh, he folds the ace deuce. I was expecting to see a slam city, but I'm a bit of a punter. What do you guys do with ace deuce there, 12 on the button? I would have I would have slammed it in the middle, I, I think, but I know it is a big final table. I would, I would just personally lean towards being aggressive here. Like I said, the difference between ninth and sixth, it's, it's a lot of money. But like, there's 300k for first. Shove the ace deuce every time. I, I, I agree with you guys. I agree with you guys. It sucks because there is that Jose guy with two big blinds, but it, it's close. It's not like super comfortable. Eight nine suited under the gun. I think we're getting an open. I mean, Oliver's the chip leader, and, and the, the structure's pretty short. Oliver is the chip leader with 28 bigs. So, yeah, definitely a reason for them to open super wide here. I don't think big blind's going to defend here. Final table strategy, a little bit of advice is you don't defend the big blind as wide because you play ICM. You don't want to play chip EV on these final tables. The pain of losing chips, basically at a final table, it's a weird concept. Losing chips 
is more painful than gaining chips is beneficial. So you just have to tighten up those defending ranges a little bit. Jose, I think Jose's got to go for it. I mean, I think, of course they have to. They got two big blinds. So you got to ram it in here and wish yourself good luck. You definitely do not want to go multi-way in this spot. You want someone to isolate. I mean, you're, you, no matter what, Oliver's calling with any two. And we have a flip. Tournament life, 2.6 million. Is the chip leader going to run over this final table? Well, that's an ace. And that means it's probably... It's probably bye-bye time for the pocket fours. I, I hit a two-header today to cash, actually, which is pretty sick. Four diamonds is live. It is not anymore. I love the I love the river feel, uh, peel feature. Yeah, today on my stream, I was uh, getting a little bit deep, and I got in pocket sixes versus pocket queens, and we spiked a two-header to stay alive. Yo, Tonka Trucks with the gifted sub. Thank you, my friend. That's pretty awesome. Appreciate that a lot. All right, we are down to the final eight. All these players guaranteed $31,000. And as we said, Oliver has the chip lead, 33 big blinds. Michael has 25 big blinds, but it's really anyone's game. So, uh, Ho Yoa here, I'm, how do I say his name? <laughs> Someone help me. Has 14 big blinds. They're in third place, so it's kind of a tough spot. I think I would giddy up and shove it in the middle, but uh, with f 14 bigs in the cutoff, Queen Jack suited. Yeah, we're definitely not min-raising. You could limp, potentially. I think it's limp or shove. Um, Yoa. Yoawa. Pronounced Joe. It's John for Portuguese. Yoao. Yoao. He folds the queen jack. Kind of, kind of understandable. I think Oliver is going to giddy up and shove here, I think. It's two short stacks. It's tough to call at the final table. It's easier to shove. So there we go. Oliver with the shove. Of the jack nine, I think that's a pretty mighty automatic push. And you know, if you run into aces, it happens. But if you run the spots, <laughs> Rich shows the king. All right, not a lot of good hands here. Small blind. I mean, Oliver's probably gonna raise, or you can even shove the suited king here. All the three remaining players are less than. There it is. I like that shove. You're the you're the boss at the final table. Set the tone. Put people in the and look. They got King Jack suited to fold equity that dominated them. Great shove for Oliver. Right now, it's looking like he could potentially giddy up and run away with this thing. Oh, some big hands here. Queens, and look at the ace queen in the small blind. So we may see a min raise from Queens. What do you do if you're Victor? Surely it's going to fold to Victor. Victor's in a tough spot here because they know that the opening range from... Can I call him John from Portuguese? I'm going to butcher the pronunciation. Uh, Victor knows that the opening range from under the gun is not that wide, so you're not that excited to shove 10 bigs. He does go ahead, and this is going to be a bad spot for Victor. Victor, for 11 million chips, can he find the bird? He's looking for an ace. That is a terrible flop. 14%. He needs the berry. He needs the miracle. One time. This is when you want to hit it. Oh, ace of diamonds is live. Surely not. The berry? No. Okay, and GG. See, it's a tough spot there with Ace-Queen. Unfortunate to bust. And all the other players are happy. As we got another ladder. 43k locked up. Next ladder, 16k. So these stacks are pretty shallow. I don't think this is going to be super long. Victor has to shove. I, I think he does as well. I think the Ace-Queen has to go for it. Um, interesting spot. Is Michael going to limp here? Anyway, guys, thank you for being here. I'm going to go grab a booski. We're going to watch this down to a bracelet winner live with you on Twitch. This is a 30-minute delay. Let's just see if there's any monsters before I run and grab a, a bevy here. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll be right back. miss anything oh no it's still the same hand ah connection issue it's like i planned that it's like i planned that i didn't miss any action all right drink of the night a steamworks pilsner and this is a canadian beer from vancouver nine percent alcohol 
No, I'm just kidding. It's five percent. Five percent. Let's crack it open, boys and girls. Limp and shove from Rodrigo. You can call him Naza. Okay, Naza. Thank you. Five percent works. Naza on the button here. Probably gonna fold. Probably gonna play a tight range because uh, we got Oliver. Is it? Oh, is it, is it Olivier or Oliver? All, it, is, it looks more like Olivier now that I look like it. Okay, I got a suited ace out there. Ooh, whoa! Oh my god, Martin. Damn. That's a crazy open. That's wild. Martin is my last name, and that is the spot. Bro, the Jack-10, uh... That's... that's uh... Far be it for me to 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 criticize these players, but uh, that doesn't seem like it opened to me. Misclicked. Uh, Kevin's high right now, dude. I'm not high. I promise. I'm not high. Olivier. No, guys. I'm. This is the only substance I've had today. I'm playing poker tomorrow. You guys, you guys know my rule. Uh, anyway, okay. Naza raises it. This is a spicy open as well with uh, Olivier on the button. I like it. Uh, Neil defends off the short stack. Two point six million. What do we do for Naza here? Surely we shove, right? We got ace high. Sure, our opponent could have defended like king seven or something, but you know they only have a pot size bet. Oh, he min bets. Min bets takes it down. Really interesting. Yo, Fezaram with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, welcome back for four months. Fezaram, a big supporter of my Congrats community. Appreciate it. The money Thank you, yeah. I made the money in this tournament. I got 139th. But these final seven players are playing for 43k. Yeah, I'm going to be playing some poker tomorrow. There's no uh, bracelet events tomorrow, though. It's just going to be a more normal schedule. Uh, Olivier with the shove here. I like it. So as you can see, we're seeing a few flops, but not a ton. I think with how shallow this final table is, the chip leader is 40 big, second has 34, and then everyone is basically less than 20. Um, yo, JD Dog, welcome. Dude, seven months. Thank you, dude. Everyone's saying congrats on the cash. I'm excited congrats about the cash, the cash, but I, of course, wanted a little bit more. So I think Neil is going to ram the four bigs in, on the on the button here, and I think it's going to go fold, fold. Big blind's getting a good price, but chips are valuable at the final table. Surely Neil's going to shove here. Neil's the shortest stack. They need to chip up. 43k guaranteed. It's nice at the final table you get, you know, you get the ladder from 9th to 8th, 8th to 7th, you get your feet wet. You have the feeling of a couple of ladders. Hopefully that alert is not too loud. Yo, thank you. Appreciate it. 2 month resub from Rainman. Ooh, we're going to see some action here. I think uh I think uh Olivier is going to get it in here for flipping. One of the queens is dead, but pocket jacks are going to shove. I think we're going to see... Ooh, Rich is thinking about it. I didn't see that they had king-queen suited. Wow, this is super interesting. That's crazy. And now Martin... What does Martin do with Jax? He flicks it in the middle. And now Olivier might actually think their ace-queen is not good. They're getting an amazing price. If they could see the hands, they would call. This is crazy. There's a chance Olivier folds here, and then Rich is actually live. If Olivier calls, Rich is screwed. But if Olivier folds, then Rich is flipping. It's a super gross spot because two short stacks have gone all in with tight ranges. Wow. Got a call here? It's 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 not fun. It's four million chips, which at this final table is very, very, very valuable. Uh, he's tanking about it. It's a very tough decision. Oh, uh, Yeah, I, I don't blame him for the fold, and that's crazy because now Rich is live for the double up. Needs a king or a queen. Can the jacks hold? Needs a king or a queen, 11 million chip pot. No, the jacks do hold. And look, ace queen would have won and knocked them both out. Ace queen would have knocked them out. What could you do? That's an interesting spot to run. Uh, GG, and we're down to six. $60,000 guaranteed. Oh, the ace on the flop. The ace on the flop. That would if, if Olivier would have called there and won that 11 million chips, we could have maybe had an early exit. You know, that... Uh, Whoa, interesting spot here. I wouldn't wouldn't hate to see Naza shove. It's it's almost an A2 spot. They go for the limp. Um, they have a trash hand. It's, it seems like a spot you can shove very wide because Neil is super short. But 
All right, final six, you guys. 60K locked up. Now, as we were talking about, this is where the ladders start to get a little serious. The next ladder is $23,000. So now the ladders are a little bit serious. What's Michael going to do here with sevens? Michael's in fourth place with 20 bigs. Min raising is the option he goes with. It's got to be uncomfortable, though, right? You're min raising into the two people that cover you at the table. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Rodrigo's gonna gonna fold, I imagine, and then Olivier. Olivier could defend, but this is also a hand you can actually just take and stuff in your opponent's face, right? Because you know, Michael, it's really hard for him to call a shove. Olivier does just defend, and look at that—a set of sevens. Yo, eleven-month reset for JPL. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I have a theory that sevens are the nuts on GG, and I haven't seen much evidence to go against that theory. Sure enough, middle set. Go go back in your hand histories on GG Poker, you guys. Watch how often sevens flop sets. Oh my god, a check call. That is a... I thought that hand was done. But Olivier continues with ace five, no backdoor flush. Uh, a light flop peel for sure. Drawing dead versus the set. Excuse me, not drawing dead. Because they turned the open ended on the turn. And now they lead. Wow. They're repping 9-10, 5-4. I actually, I don't know about the flop call. I'm, oh my God. I mean, Olivier surely has to shove. Olivier has more nines and more fours in the range. They know their five is not good. It's hard for Michael to have a nine. Olivier, I think, has to gear up and shove all in and put him in a spot because it's very tough for Michael to have a straight here. Olivier has all the straights. Once we lead the turn, what are we, we have to shove here, you guys. We have the chips. I mean, we have to, I don't know, but like, we're not checking ace-5, we're not going to show it down and win. I think we have to rep it, rep the 9-10, rep the jack-9. I think Olivier is, is going to shove here after he thinks about it. And what's Michael going to do? Michael flopped a set. Oh, he doesn't do it, he allows the cheap showdown from Michael. Michael is, whoo! Whoo! Take it down, Michael, and now Michael's near the chip lead as well. Michael Michael was like, don't shove, don't shove, don't shove. This is fantastic. That was, that was a weird hand. That was a weird hand. And again, far be it, I am a mid-stakes player. Far be it for me to, 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 oh, Olivia is probably going to shove. Probably. <laughs> uh, we're shoving, and, and I think Neil has to call here. Neil is, uh, Neil is, Neil's the shortest. It, this is like tragic, you know, you know, Olivier could have Jack seven offsuit here. The fact that uh, Pocket Jacks are here. This is this is gross. I mean, maybe Neil folds off of six big blinds. Nah, he's going to see the bad news. That's the worst hand he can be against. He'd rather have him have aces and he needs some sort of backdoor straight a queen king heart to stay alive. Running tens. I, was, I couldn't figure out how he had five percent running tens. All right. <laughs> Guys, I had, a long, I had a long stream today, man. I had a super long stream today. Give me a break. I was, I, I was like, what? How does he have equity on the turn? And I figured he could. I'd, I'd learn that he could hit a 10 on the river. The more you know. Um, long stream today, boys and girls. Martin in the small blind. All right, let's break it down here. Olivier with 18K. And the other stacks, we got Naza now, Michael, and Martin. GG to our sixth player finishes Neil, 60k, and we are down to the top five. This is what we play for, man. This is why we play the game. Put ourselves in a spot like this. This is I've been. I want to embrace it so bad. This is my this is my dream to be in a big sweaty spot like this live on Twitch. Final five. Every player is guaranteed eighty-two thousand dollars. The next jump is to six figures. And look at this. We have some pretty strong hands. Pocket sevens from the chip leader. Whoa. This is wild. These guys are going for it. A couple of these opens have just caught me by surprise. Well, ace three raises and sevens just mucks it. And now ace king shoves. And, uh... Yo, Poop Pants, appreciate the three month resub. Thank you so much. And Ted Rob with the gifted subs. The five pack. Thank you so much. Folds the sevens. Yeah, I mean, he would have flopped the set. You don't want to fold sevens on GG Poker. So, you know, you know how like nines is the nuts on poker stars and, and like, you know, the sevens is definitely the nuts on GG, man. Never fold sevens on GG.
Yo, appreciate that. Five subs for the final five. Enjoy the stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Pocket tens raise here. Michael with the suited ace on the button. It's kind of a clever spot to go for a three bet bluff, actually. Leverage the stack a little bit. Mm. There it is. Nice little small size. They're pretty shallow. The shallower you are, the smaller you can three bet bluff. I like this. And now, what does Martin do with the tens? I mean, yeah, it has to be the four bet jam city. That's the only option. Tens is not a hand you want to call play out of position. It's just like such a god. God, god when God made pocket tens. He knew it would be a 4-bet shove. Like, as soon as he created it, he knew that people would love to 4-bet sh shove pocket tens. It's just, it's it sucks pose flop, but it's like a nutted hand. Who's the best player on the table? I, I don't know. There's some there's some good... I actually am very unfamiliar with most of these players. Um, we've seen some wild opens, but this is, a, this is a sick spot. Final 5, 82k locked up. Martin's opened it up a little bit here. King 9 off. Seems like a defending hand. I don't know if we want to 3-bit bluff that. This could be an interesting spot. The king high board definitely favors Martin because Martin has ace king. He has the aces. So I think we're going to see a bet. There it is. And he goes for a big size. I like that. I like that. Because that puts a lot of Olivier's hands in the, in, you know, in the pain train. Check call. Oh, my God. Martin, are you going to do it for us live on Twitch? Are we going to see the second and maybe even third barrel? Oh, just like, oh my goodness, Martin. Go on, Martin. King Nine's in a tough spot, you guys. You're second place at the WSOP final table. You have one pair medium kicker. Your opponent has sets, two pairs, aces. What do we do here? This sucks. Calling six million with King Nine here sucks. It sucks. It It's Martin, man. What a bluff. What a size. Credit to him, and just like that, he has taken the chip lead. You gotta give him a round of applause for that. The big flop size and the big turn size. Martin has the heart, and I love it, absolutely. 4.3 million shove. Martin with a close spot, he's gonna flick it in. Martin is behind. Rodrigo with the ace queen. Oh, the sevens come out on GG so often, I'm telling you. Oh, the queen follows up on the turn, okay. Um, all right, Martin was pretty excited on that turn card. And there we go. So double up. That evens the chips out a little bit. This is fun. This is great. I don't have to make any decisions, man. There's no, there's nothing on me, man. I can just talk. This is great. Chips even out a little bit. That's super, super interesting. Oh, Rodrigo on that flop thought he was out the door. Finds the queen on the turn, and now he finds the pocket aces. Guys, we are going to crown a bracelet champion on Twitch tonight. I am live with you now. I see you on the chat. Thank you for joining me. This is on a 30 minute delay. For all we know, maybe this tournament is over. Kind of unlikely. They're probably three handed or heads up. Um, but here we go. Martin, Martin goes for it. I love this open. He covers the two players. You can probably open any suited hand here. And uh, Naza seems like a natural defending hand. Definitely not a hand you ever want to three bet bluff. It's just such a good call hand. This king high board, we just talked about it, usually favors the in position raiser. We're probably gonna see a bet here. What size is he gonna go? Million? He, he's been sizing up big. Martin likes that big C bet, and it's uh, it's kind of effective at the final table because you just get so many automatic folds. You know, if you bet that third size, then he can call with any pair, any draw. But once you start betting 60, 70 percent, you really put him in the, in the oh, Olivier with the nuts, the sevens on GG Poker. Okay, if Olivier flops a set of sevens. I'll give someone in Twitch chat $100. I have a feeling like I will be giving someone $100. If Olivier flops a, a 7 here... Okay. No $100 for you, chat. Surprise, he doesn't flop a set. I have, I have a theory. You're supposed to flop a set like, what, 1 in 8 times? I feel like... Uh, I feel like 7s flop a set like 1 in 4 times. Yo, thank you, appreciate that. I, I missed what the message was. Whoa, Roger... Rodrigo is a wild man. Rodrigo had a crazy open earlier with ace-3 offsuit, and now he defends 6-3 and leads on the 8-3 deuce board into the chip leader, and he gets it through. Wow. I would never in a million years lead there, and Rodrigo is at the WCP final table. That is wild. That is unorthodox and, and, and effective in that case. You're right. You're right. Olivier is no longer the chip leader. Martin's the chip leader. That was crazy. That was that was a, 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 a unique 
a unique play. All right, so Martin's in the lead. We've got three similar stacks. It's really anyone's game, though. 35 bigs, 20, 20, 20. Look at how close these three stacks are. These three stacks right here are all 20 big blinds. 20, 20, 20. Michael is 15, and uh, Martin with the chip lead. And Brazilians are aggressive. They, they do have that reputation for sure. Easy shove for Martin. Um, Olivier is going to have a trap once in a while, but the offsuit ace plays so bad post-flop. It's an easy shove there for sure. This is fun. Cards of coverage. Thank you to GG Poker for the uh, the feed. It's pretty sweet. Glad you guys have. I'm glad to have you guys all here. Rodrigo opens. Going to be a raise and take it. Unless Michael has an ambitious idea in the big blind. I don't think so though. Martin has made 1.4 million this year. He's a beast. Yeah, dude. He's uh, he's beasting. That's crazy. He's made a million dollars this year. Damn. Damn. Ooh, Olivier with a cutoff open ace five suit. It seems like a good spot. I thought Martin, yeah, he's going to shove it all in. Martin's beasting, man, here. He says, this is my table. This is my bracelet. He's going for it. You know, Olivier has some raised calls, but, like, what does Olivier do there with, like, you know, sixes or something? Or, like, even, like, ace jack kind of sucks. All right, Martin is uh, Martin's running away a little bit, but surely Michael's going to shove the eights here. Perfect hand to shove. You also want to shove against the chip leader because they're going to be raised folding the most. The EV on your shoves go up. This is fun. A couple ace 10 suited. Ooh, ace jack. Martin's going to raise 1.2 million probably. Oh, he just goes all in. Look at that. That is another option. I thought he was going to min raise, but he's just saying, hey, everyone is like less than 20 bigs. Call if you want. Open shove. Martin, the overwhelming favorite. Ace 10 soon the small blind for 20. I mean, surely Rodri Rodri you can know Rodrigo's a rumbler. Rodrigo does not like to fold. He gave that uh, he gave that Ace 10 suited a little bit of a think there. He's, he, he, it looks so pretty. He was thinking about calling off, but Rodrigo's in second. So this was a re-entry tournament, you guys. Rodrigo is the only person on their second bullet here. The other four players are on their first bullet. Uh, 82k guaranteed. The next ladder is six-figure territory. I agree. Good play with the ace jack. Here we go. I think Martin's going to shove as well. Why not? This looks like it's going to have a clash. Rodrigo is... It, it sucks to call off your stack, you know... This is this is this actually might be a fold, man. With he's second in chips. Raise calling ace queen is not fun here. Maybe you should have shoved pre or limped, but raise calling here. I I think this is a fold being in second in chips with these ladders now. I don't think you get to raise call ace queen. This, he's put himself in a, in a nasty ICM spot here. I I think a, a limp would have been would have been ideal or an open shove, but I don't think raise is the option. He look at that. He mucks. I like the fold. I like the fold. You just can't call, man. It's It seems like such a crazy thing, but when you mess around with some of the software and you put in these calculations, it's like ace-queen is always a losing call there. Is Kevin playing? No, I'm just I'm just chatting. I'm just chatting. King-6. We're going to see raise here. Good spot for Michael to shove. Michael knows Martin. Martin might be raising 95% of buttons here. So Michael's playing well. Naz is playing well. Rodrigo's playing well. He's a little wild. Olivier's in the mix. This could be anyone's game here. Uh, Martin, obviously the overwhelming favorite. Should you just never raise if you fold ace-queen? Yeah, I, I think he should have limped or he could open shove. Raise is not the option, um, in my opinion. But again, I, I'm not here to criticize. I'm, uh, I'm a medium stakes player, you know? I'm just, just giving my thoughts. Martin is doing great. He's really icy and pressuring. Good spot for Naza to shove. You know, Naza is now one of the shorter stacks. Martin has that high, what we call, raise fold gap. And now Rodrigo's in the big blind. He just folded ace queen. I think he's going to muck the ace jack. If he could see the cards, he would know that he's a massive favorite. But like we said before, Rodrigo's, you know, has a lot of chips. He's in third place in the tournament. He's tied for second. You really can't call off your stack. Oh, he does! And he gets it in good. Rodrigo is itching. He folds the ace queen. He doesn't fold the ace jack. And the seven! On GG. Oh, the seven always comes out. Oh, the jack. 
The Jack uh, for Rodrigo. Wow. And the A7. Oh my goodness. The suck and the resuck. So sick. And there is our final four. I like the shove with A7 suited. These are some interesting spots. And now look at that. Rodrigo with the Miracle Jack on the river. Vamo Brazil. Are we going to see a Brazilian bracelet tonight? We have one Canadian. That is Olivier. I'm a Canadian, so there's a soft spot for uh, Team Canada. Wow. That was that was wild. Okay. Congrats to these four players. All of them locking up a six-figure score. Very impressive. And now the jumps are massive. It's going to be a 43K pay jump from fourth to third. So we have the story of two rich fellas and, 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 and two poor players. Right now, Michael and Olivier are on the short stacks. Rodrigo and Martin are in control here. we got queens on the button for Olivier. Is he going to go for the min raise or the open shove? Um, he goes for the min raise. Yeah, queens are kind of nutted here. I think it's just going to be a raise and take it. I, I, it was a, a an open and a shove, and he called with ace jack. That was a surprise to me. He did have the best hand. We can see the cards. There's been some, some very interesting spots here at this final table. What do we think? Is Rodrigo going to take the, yep, 10 deuce? And look at this. The suited Doyle has flopped a pair and a flush draw. Rodrigo is a rumbler. They are, uh, I think they're playing well, but they are, let's just say, aggro. Bet from Jack-10, check call. Is Martin going to find another barrel here? This turn card, I don't think so. I think Martin's going to check. This card is better for the big blind range. I mean, Martin has a wide range on the button, but it just feels, oh my goodness, I'm wrong again. I'm, I'm just going to take a sip of beer. I can't predict one street action. And look at that river. Two pair now for Rodrigo, and Martin makes top pair. Flop bet, turn bet, big pot here, 10 million, and a value bet from Martin, and he value owns himself because Rodrigo rivers to pair. Wow. This is a final table, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. This is crazy action. You got to like this. These players are going for it. A thin value bet from Martin does not work in this case. Oh, uh, wow. I thought it was a good value bet. I, I thought it was super clever. I think Olivier is going to shove. Oh, uh, no. Uh, he does not. I thought he was going to maybe take it. I I'm batting about 18% for my predictions. <laughs> this is a great commentary. Nice to meet you, dude. What's up, TJ? Nice to meet you, man. My name is Kevin. Great to see you, dude. I dream of being in a spot like this one day. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, just a poker egg that gets to commentate on these spots. You know, I'm very blessed. All right. Open shove from Michael. All in for 10 million. Okay. So now, I mean... Team Brazil, Vamo, are you Team Brazil, you guys? What, who do you got? Final four situation here. Every player's locked up over 100K. Who do you got here? Are you Team Team Rodrigo? I mean, Martin has a lot of fans. I think uh, I think Martin is a fan favorite. Michael, Olivier's doing thing. It's still anyone's game here. I, I think. I, I mean, 34 million chips is hard to argue against that. Yo, appreciate the resub. Get shirt for 42 months. Thank you, my friend. So Rodrigo was playing aggressive before. What do we think he's going to do with 34 million? He's going to be playing any two cards here. Olivier, the short stack now. Goes for the min raise with the 7-8 suited. Yo, Coda with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Martin is pronounced Martin in Holland. Martin's my last name, actually. Kevin Martin. That's, that's my last name. It's a first name, last name. Okay, so Olivier does raise. Rodrigo defends. Olivier is going to stab small. I mean, Rodrigo's not going anywhere. He's going to check call. Bad turn for Olivier. When you think range versus range, Olivier does not have any of the, you know, the four, five. You know, pocket twos, pocket threes, pocket sixes. Probably just shove pre. He doesn't min raise those. Um, he has no equity here. Let's see what he does. Does he continue the story? No. That's a good river for Olivier, though. He can rep that. I bet you he's going to bluff here. What size does he go? Surely he bluffs. You have to bluff here. You can't check back eight high. This card is amazing for your range. You have all the ace, queen, the ace, jack. Some of those shove pre. Some of those might min raise. This hand is a little interesting, a little dynamic because of the min raise pre. I mean, surely Olivier is going to bet. Is he going to go 3 million? 2.4? Does he go a little bit smaller? And what does Rodrigo do with the six when we see the bluff here? 
There it is, three million. Oh my god, if Rodrigo searches this out, he's a god, man. He's a god. He's still a god, but he's not that much of a god. He quickly folds. Nice pot for Olivier. A little bit of a uh, little, little bit of chips there. See raise for Martin. I think we're gonna see a defend here for Olivier. He's got a few more chips now. The offsuit ace. I always say on my stream, the offsuit ace is just so not fun to play. It's just horrendous. It's just so ugly. It's the worst hand to play post flop. Good flop for Martin. Martin was rolling there. The the jack ten hand kind of blew up in his face. I thought the triple barrel, and then I, he bluff flop bluff turn. And I thought the valley bet on the river was really clever against the player, but didn't work. How much is the delay? 30 minute delay. Please do not spoil. If you spoil, uh, you will be banned. One of these four is winning a bracelet tonight. And look at that. No one's even really short that more. Olivia is the short stack. He's got 15 bigs. Martin and Michael have 20 bigs each. Rodrigo is heaps. Ooh, a limp from the pocket fours. Wants to V-pip it. Didn't want to shove. I like it. I like the limp. I don't. I don't know the flags, you guys. You got ch Twitch chat. In my experience, Twitch chat is an ep you know an expert in poker. First of all, the best poker players I've ever seen come from Twitch chat. Um, Twitch chat's also an expert in in medical advice, politics, you know, psychology, on and on and on. You guys are also an expert in flags, so please help me out. I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, is this a, a French flag? What's, this, this seems like South Africa, right? South Africa, yes, that is South Africa. And this is Netherlands, this is Netherlands. This is Netherlands. <laughs> and uh, what's, what's this one? What's this one? What's this one? Help me out here. Canada. It's Canada. Well, how many how many Bud Lights? Olivier's got to wrap this up. He's got to pick up hockey in 20 minutes. Hopefully the Wi-Fi holds from the igloo. It's Luxembourg, not ne ne the Netherlands. It's Luxembourg. Okay, all right. Canada. <laughs> all right, Martin with the raise here. Gonna see a stab. Rodrigo's itching. He's got the 31 million chips. Anyone's game here. You can see here at the final table, it's not timed. It's a number of hands, which I really like. Uh, level 35 and nine hands. Nine hands. You're pronouncing everything wrong. Whoa! Michael! Michael, Michael, Michael. Man. Some pe sometimes we've seen a couple opens at this final table that just have left me scratching my head. Um, the 610 off on the button is wide. It's wide. And he's going to get punished here. He's going to get punished. Olivia shoves the queen jack suited. Like open a open a wide open a wide button for sure. That's just uh, super wide. The button is tempting, I know, dude. I hate folding buttons as well. Can you see a limp here? Martin could actually raise here. I think you're supposed to raise this sometimes from the big blind. Like uh, 25% or something. He checks. Neither flop, can, uh, neither player connects on the flop. Rodrigo's actually chilled out a little bit. They haven't played many hands with the 30 million chips. Rodrigo almost has all the other stacks combined. So they both got 10 high right now. If it goes to showdown, it's going to be a chop. But let's see. Flop went check, check. Is Olivier going to do anything here? He does. He does fire. He's going to take it down. Yeah. Nice pickup. Final four. Everyone taking home that six-figure payday. Rodrigo with... Uh, sorry. Uh, Michael with the ace-king in the big blind. Welcome, everybody. This is WSOP event number 36, I believe. I played this today. I, I found myself the cheeky min cash. And then I busted. Yo, Rihanna, thank you for the three months. Rihanna, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So are we seeing the small raise here or the all-in? Um, hmm. We see, this, we see the not small raise, actually. We see the... F that was over 4x. That was 4.5x. 
Yo, thank you for the three months, uh, uh, Rihanna. I appreciate it. So right now, this is... Ooh, kings for Olivier. Um, this is a dream spot for Rodrigo because the other stacks are very, very close. It's really his place to push people. Yo, Arly Shaban with the raid. Yo, Arly is one of my best buddies. One of my best friends in life. 36 month resub as well. Arly with the raid. Welcome, everyone. If you don't know my buddy Arly, he's a poker stars pro. He's a savage. He's one of my best friends. And uh, he has a massive Twitch stream. He talked to me about streaming a couple years ago. He got into it and now he's kicking butt. So lots of love for Arly. Have a killer stream, brother. Thank you, dude. If you guys are just joining us, what's up? I'm commentating on this final table. One of these four is going to win a bracelet. Whoa, Rod Rodrigo leads and I actually like that on this flop. I don't know about this specific hand. This is a flop that Big Blind does Thanks very well content, with. Kevin. Oh my god, Rodrigo, Vamo turns the eight. Kings are dead to one out. He leads the flop, hits the miracle card, and now he's betting again. And now Olivier is in a bit of a spot. He loses to all the straights. I mean, he's definitely calling. We're not going to fold Kings to a second bet here against Rodrigo. We might just have to call down. If Olivier goes broke here, I would not blame him. It's like... Yeah, oh, that's that's a bad river for that's a bad river for Rodrigo. He doesn't really know it. Rodrigo thinks that's probably a good river for him, but uh, Olivier is probably I don't know, man. I mean, Olivier hates his hand now. On the flop, Olivier was like, all right. On the turn, he's like, all right. And then on the river, he's like, oh my god. I mean, but Rodrigo never really has an ace. He never has ace x that lead. So it's actually when you think about the range, it's a little more of a brick. So Olivier's got to think, what's my opponent repping? 8x, but does that lead the flop? Mm, I mean, in this case, it does. He's repping uh, Jack-10. He's repping 6-5, 10-6 suited. All hands that the big blind could have. This is a sick spot. Rodrigo could be bluffing here. He definitely could definitely, with the stack size, Rodrigo could take a hand like Queen-10 and lead bluff-bluff. It's definitely possible. This is a miserable spot, though. Do you call? Do you call and go for the big stack? If you call in your right here, you are the new chip leader. This is a big moment. He's breaking it down. What do you think he's going to do, you guys? I think he's going to call. I, I think he's going to find a hero here. Because the ace, at first glance, it looks bad for the kings. But as we as we talked about, Rodrigo never really leads ace-x on the flop. It would, it, it would be unusual. So we lose to 8x, boats, and straights. And the way Rodrigo's been playing, I wouldn't blame Olivier if he finds a call. Do you guys all think he's going to fold? Uh, the vibe I'm getting is the hero call vibe. It would be a great fold. You can keep your life going with six and a half million chips. Uh, he does fold again. Again, I am wrong. Again, I am wrong again. Twitch chat, you're right. This is why we listen to you guys. Respect the shit out of them because of the dynasty that they created. You know what I mean? All right. Wow. Well, Rodrigo's going to be shoving and uh, Olivia is going to be calling. Good luck. King five behind, but is live. Surely Olivier's calling here. Rodrigo's shoving range is, is close to any two. We just have a little bit of a tank, but here it is, you guys. Big moment for Olivier. Rodrigo from Brazil needs a king or a five, and that is a five, but look at that. 66% with the, yeah. How can you fade that? Olivier had two overs, open into straight draw, nut flush draw. He only had ace high. Rodrigo flopped a pair, but Olivier had 66%. 66% and they hit on the turn. Big double up for Olivier. So everyone's at 20 bigs except Rodrigo is at 50. If Rodrigo could have gotten there with that uh, that King 5, it would have been tough to come back. All right, interesting. Limp from Olivier. Check from Martin. That seems very reasonable from both. Little top pair for Martin. Great spot here. Is Olivier going to take one stab here? Olivier has jack high, backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. He does stab over half pot. I think if Martin's here, we're just calling. We're not raising. We don't have much of a raising range here. Even our nutted hands. Good turn for Martin. Uh, Olivier could have some 5x. I think some of their 5x check flop. Some could definitely bet. But in general, uh, yeah, once it's checked to, Martin knows he has the best hand. He just needs to execute on how to get two streets of value. Like, Olivier's never checking a 5 here. He's never checking ace-king. He's never checking king-queen if those limp priests. So what do we go here? Probably not massive. 1.2 million. 1.3 million. What's the other option? Check back at one street on the river, get a bluff. Eh. Yeah, 1.5. 1.5.
little bit bigger than I thought, but pretty close. Martin with the pot, you guys. Blinds go up in three hands. It's a bunch of junky hands except the big blind. Thank you for chilling, you guys. If you're joining, just stream. Why can't I talk, man? It's been a long day. It's 10.30. I woke up at 9 and I've been doing shit all day. It's, it's, it's a long day. Whoa, Martin getting after it here with the raise. Martin hates this flop. Is he gonna is he gonna take one stab? No. What's Michael gonna do? Michael calls King Jack with the club. Do we need to start bluffing? No, we don't need to. Good turn turn card for Michael. I think Martin's done with this hand. He raised pre. Yeah, I think he's just out of here. Yo, Jeremy with the sub. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Kmart, you can't speak because you're high? Definitely not. Check, check. Now does Martin rep it? Maybe he does. He could definitely rep King X, and there you go. It's not going to work. I like the river bluff, though. I think Martin was going to shut down on a lot of runouts, but this makes sense to bluff. It's not going to work here. Our opponent has, you know, not the nut straight, but has the has has the hand here. Um, yeah, I love that river bluff. Martin could definitely rep some King X and 8X for sure. Camera's high. I promise you guys I'm not, I'm not high. I would tell you. I'm not. I'm just tired. I'm high on life, man. I'm excited about some things coming up. I'm about a third of the way through this Steamworks Pilsner. All right, limp and check. Pretty good flop for Rodrigo. What place to Kmart finish? I got 139th. A good effort. I got a 3.8 min cash, a participation trophy, and a little slap on the rear. On my way out the door. It's kind of sad. I kind of blinded out of the tournament. It was a little bit depressing. But it is what it is. Thank you for the raid from Arlie Shaban. This is fun. Final four situation. I like this. Good spot for Rodrigo to be aggressive. You don't have to raise big either. Yeah, just a little effect of 1.4 million. Kmart, did you see the NBA scrimmages? I, ha I haven't, dude. Isn't, isn't Zion looking jacked? Isn't he looking big? Blinds go up. Small blind, 400,000. Big blind, 800,000. I think Olivier is going to go all in. Dream spot to have an ace-x offsuit. The offsuit aces perform super well in these blind on blind spots. When you get like sub-20, you can kind of just ram it in and, and expect auto profit. Don't give up on Olivier. Don't give up on Olivier. I think Rodrigo is going to have a raise here. Probably any ace in the cutoff is, is going to be a raise. Now Olivier's in a spot. You could definitely shove. If you're going to shove, you probably want to shove against Rodrigo. Ace-10 off. You're not loving it. He does decide to go for it. And this is going to work. Rodrigo's just going to fold. Olivier with a bit of a rally. It's back-to-back -back pots. Michael's sitting on 14 million. Martin has 10 big blinds. Rodrigo had a chance to really stomp the competition out. But, I mean, he's still obviously the favorite. 38 big bigs there. How do you enter this? Can anyone buy in? Yes, anyone can buy in unless you live in the United States of America because your government does not let you play regulated poker in there, you know? So yeah, if if if, if you're in a if you're in a legal uh, country to play online poker, um, anyone can buy in. You just need fifteen hundred US dollars. You just need one point five K US. Little blind on blind battle. Check, 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 check. Five high on the river. Rodrigo checks it down. Good river check. Your opponent had a pretty good uh, good hand there. I think Martin's going to find a shove here. Fours and ten bigs were the shortest stack. Now that Olivier and Michael have pulled away a little bit. Ooh, I like this. This... That, Martin's a sicko. That's, that's a new strategy. Do you know why he did that, you guys? I'll tell you why. I just figured out the other day. And that's been a trend in the high stakes where people shove large percentage of their stacks, but they leave chips behind. Because what if Martin shoves there and then two players go all in behind? They can now fold and play for that ladder. So at final tables, if you notice a recent trend, a lot of the sickos shove 60 70 percent of their stack leaving 30 percent behind in the case that there are multiple ends they can fold and make the ladder 
I got to do that in my game. I never have. I got to remember to do that. It's like a pretty nice edge you can find. Queen's limp here. Not a lot of action. Olivia is probably pissed that Rodrigo didn't raise. They had a monster. Jack 10 suited for Olivier. Olivier is rallying a little bit, and Michael with the suited king dominating Olivier. What are we going to see here? A raise? A limp? A shove. That is an option as well. Oh, Michael's just going to fold. It's one of those spots where we can, we can see Michael has the best hand, but obviously Michael has no idea. And yeah, that's just a fold. You can't call off your stack there with king 10 suited. Okay, guys. R Rodrigo is... Rodrigo slipped a little bit. Team Brazil, what's going on here? Yeah, he's, he's fine, but he, he was definitely up to, what, 35 million there? And oh, no. This could be trouble. We see the all-in. Oh, my God. Rodrigo's going to reshove, and Olivier has ace-king. Olivier's not going to fold. If Olivier f holds here... Wow. Olivier's going to shove, and then Martin's going to fold and try to make the ladder. Is that what's going to happen? I mean, Olivier's in second, and the ladders are massive. It's not even that good of a spot with Ace King, because Olivier. I mean, this is crazy. Fun hand here. This is gross because if Olivier goes all in, he know that he knows that Martin might fold. He folds the Ace King. He folds the Ace King. Ace Nine versus Ace Jack. Needs a nine, or Martin is out of here. And GG, good game to Martin. Very well done. Martin's a sicko. I thought he played very well. He gets 111,000, and there we go. We're down to the final three. That was crazy. How does he full ace king? Because he's second in chips. I, that's a fun spot to run. Oh my goodness. I, that, was, that was crazy. He would have won. He would have held. He would have been the overwhelming chip leader. Wow. Put that in the ICMizer. Tell me what the answer is. I would be very curious. My goodness. Chat is saying, how do you fold Ace King? It it looks it looks worse than it is. I think that's I I think that's a reasonable fold. It looks visually worse because we see that he has the best hand. I bet you it looks worse than it is. I I honestly think it could be a fold as well. It is a, it's a sick spot. It's a sick spot. Michael with the all-in. We're down to three. Look at this. 156K locked up. Bracelet on the line. Next ladder is what? 60K? That was a wild one. Okay. So Olivia and Michael with 15 million each. Very similar stacks. Both 20 bigs. Rodrigo with the chip lead. This is the spot, man. When you're three-handed as the chip leader and the other two stacks are like very similar, it's a dream, dream, dream spot. You're playing for a bracelet. Yeah, but the job of a professional poker player is 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 to play for money as well. The bracelet and the glory is there. It's like, I don't, I don't, I, may, maybe after, we could run it. I'll, 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 eh. It seems like a lot of work and I'm, I'm halfway through a beer. I'm probably not going to run it tonight. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I probably will not be running that spot in the ICMizer tonight, but I am very curious. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> Olivier takes it. Exactly. We're here we're here to watch the hands. I mean, these guys have all locked up six figures, but we're we're not we're not criticizing. We're just we're giving our little opinions, you know. Raise from Olivier. Rodrigo with the defend. All right, so this is an interesting battle. The next ladder is 60K, but there is also that shiny little bracelet to play for. Next level is in 18 hands. Olivia raises pre. Rodrigo defends. Could it be a continue? Is Rodrigo going to check call? He does. That's a good card for Olivia. Olivia is more the King X. They have the stronger range on this card. Are they going to go for it here? 
four million chips set up that river shove even make it bigger 5.2 seems like a good card there it is he, he bets 3.5 it's a nice smaller bet and he gets it, the job done i really like that i really like that size he threatens that river shove that king is so good for the in position player and he recognized it all right don't give up on olivier man 20 million gets a walk here Rodrigo's had the chip lead for a while. They've had some chances, you know, to really stomp out their opponents that haven't happened. <gasps> if Rodrigo folds here, oh, he d oh, okay. We could have seen some action blind on blind there. Michael's just going to shove. Rodrigo's going to fold. Yeah, uh, tomorrow I, th I think I'm going to play some poker at night. There's no WSP events tomorrow. Saturday, there's a $600 tournament that starts at 6 a.m. I'm going to be playing that. It's a six max. Then Saturday, I have day two of the Colossus. I have the 1K COVID tournament that got delayed. And then there's a $1,500 millionaire maker. So on Sunday on this channel, we're going to be three tabling WSOP. Very, very fun. When's the main? I think it's, it's, it's uh, not for a while. Like August 20th or something. Okay, button raise, defend. Very interesting hand. Olivier has such a natural bluff hand here. But it's also tricky because Michael's shorter. I mean, I, I think we're betting here just like 5 million. No, he checks back and rivers the straight. Rodrigo hates that card. Surprised we didn't see a turn bluff there with the, with the straight draw. Now, Olivier, what size do we go for on the river? Goes big, 4.2 million. Rodrigo's just going to be folding here, right? Surely, right? We check all flop, check, check, turn. This ace is very bad. Okay. Team Canada, our home and native land, with a rally here. 24 million. Couple more hands. We could see a new chip leader, potentially. Michael's on the side with, what, 19 big blinds. Anyone's game. 33 big blinds, 31 and 19. <laughs> are, you, are you playing the Venom? Has anyone opened ACR recently and they just blast that like the venom is back it scared the shit out of me the first time I opened it. Button raise from Rodrigo. Very good flat. Very good flop for the button. Size to check seems reasonable. It's got that third pair in the gut shot. Fives, fives are done with this hand. Olivier's checking out, right? We called pre. We didn't hit a set. Not only did we hit a set, we have two red fives. Yeah, he was in check, check, fold mode. Pot for Rodrigo. Ace jack. Hmm. Michael. Is Michael going to go for a limp shove here? He is. It's. I sensed it. I've had some wrong predictions tonight. It seemed like a good spot to limp. You want to give the chip leader that chance to raise to three big blinds, 3.2 big blinds, and then limp shove. But this is this is the downside of that. You take a flop. You still have ace high. He's, he's, Michael's got to feel pretty good about his ace high here. Oh, no more. Michael's going to check. Rodrigo's going to value bet, and Michael's going to be in a tough spot. Rodrigo's definitely betting for value. He snap bets. I think Michael might pay this off. Yeah, there it is. He doesn't even think about it. It's hard to blame him. And Rodrigo, there we go. Back over 30 million. We have a clear 1, 2, 3 in the pecking order here. Michael with the king 6 race. I kind of like it. They're the shortest stack now. Kmart, fantastic commentary. Thank you, Polly. I appreciate it, mate. Okay, pocket kings for Olivier. This is going to be spicy because it's number one and number two battling here. Oh, the flat. That is that is tricky. That is tricky. And we go three ways and pocket kings with no diamond don't look very good anymore here. Olivier is uh, not happy with this board. He, I think he's just checking. He's like, get my kings to showdown. Yeah. Michael is going to check. Does Rodrigo show some pep in his step here? He checked the flop. He turns a gut shot. It's checked to him twice. He does not. And now it's going to go check, check. And does Rodrigo bluff and rep some sort of diamond? Do we try to win this hand at any point with 8-9 suited? We check the flop, check the turn. Do we do we take a stab here? 
I think Michael's checking. His five of diamonds is probably not good enough to value bet. I am wrong again. Does anyone else want to get in the booth? My god. These guys are playing a different game. He just fires out a large bet with the five of diamonds. <laughs> Deuces, and now Rodrigo's turn with the Cowboys. Goes for the three bet. Olivia's in a tough spot here. They just snap fold. I am wrong again, Kevin Martin. Story of my life, mate. That was a bluff, I think. I I don't know what it was. It wasn't. Uh, it was. It was uh, surprising. Is what it was. I can't stop watching. It's good. This this. It's not going to go on too much longer. Blinds go up in seven hands. I mean, we're watching people play for a lot of real money. It is definitely intriguing. Olivier has slipped below twenty million, but Michael's on the upswing here a little bit. Thirty-seven bigs, twenty-four, twenty-two. Rodrigo uh, has actually chilled out a little bit. They took some interesting lines at the start of the final table. They made some interesting decisions. Here we go. That's more like the Rodrigo we know, the 6-5 off race. It was a blocker bet. It was a large size, though. Pretty big for a blocker bet. Yeah, I don't think it was a blocker bet. He bet over half pot. When you're playing the highest stakes, the weird shit works sometimes. Yeah, dude. I need, I need to... There's some unconventional lines that I should probably include in my own game. Um, Rodrigo, top pair. All right. Rodrigo has had the chip lead for a very long time here. Ace-10. 20 bigs effective. What are we doing? We're going to go for the limp. Queen-5, yeah. Not really the hand to raise there. You can raise some trash, but Queen-5 seems like a check most of the time. Okay, Olivier is not going to be going anywhere here. They flop ace high, gut shot. Ooh, interesting turn. Michael is queen high, gut shot to the 10. Olivier has the nut flush draw as well. I didn't realize, I didn't see the flush draw at first. The flop is could not be more massive for Olivier. I thought they just had a gut shot, but they have the nut flush as well. Going to be a check call and the open ender. They have the best hand with ace high, but they have a smorgasbord of opportunity to go with it he breaks out he has the best hand does queen high give up here on the river he, he, he knows his hand is not good and he goes small he goes for 1.5 million maybe this is kind of clever this is a clever little size and go on Michael I think Michael was actually targeting like ace highs and like the smallest of pairs there. He bet on the river probably targeting a lot of ace highs and guess what? It worked. A nice little clever bluff. A cheeky little steal. I mean, he risked such a small percentage of the pot to, to, to get the... Whoa! Michael with the min 3 bet with the 6-7 gets that to work as well. Michael with the min three bet. Olivier surely going to shove here versus the open. Pocket fives, three handed. There it is. Love getting three handed MTTs. This is the best part, man. You get to play every pot. You get it. It's super dynamic. Tournament poker is, is very, very interesting. Very dynamic for sure. Guys, thank you for joining me on this evening. We're having a lot of fun. It's almost 11 p.m. my time. This tournament might be over. We're on a 30-minute delay. Please, no spoilers, of course. Blinds go up. The big stack has 30 big blinds. Michael in second with 20. Olivier has 15. Rocking that Dan Blazarian profile picture. Ooh, this could be a clash. Fives and ace jack. I mean, we're three-handed. Stack number two and stack number three. You think we're going to dance here. We could even see the open shove. Olivier is going to call, and we're going to have a massive flip, you guys. Four 30 million chips. WSOP final table. Ooh, ace, jack, king. Any big card for Olivier? Oh, the five. It's not over yet, though. Olivier needs a king, or we are heads up. The ace. That is such a needle. Because if the five didn't hit the turn, the ace would have been the winning card. So that is a bit of a needle, River. And GG to Olivier. Very well played. 156k. 
a nice payday for an 11 hour tournament get your ggs in the chat and guess what we are heads up for a bracelet both players guaranteed two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars this heads up mash is worth eighty two thousand dollars and a nice shiny wrist decoration wow all right we got rodrigo from brazil versus michael from south africa over 200k locked up rodrigo is on bullet number two this was a re-entry tournament michael is one and done baby doing it with the first bullet i love me some heads up poker let's get it on 82k heads up match heads up there's a lot of skill but there is a lot of variance as well it's gonna be a good start here for michael michael flops top pair oh and rodrigo goes for the check raise he flops the pair of threes i like this play actually a lot of sickos take that bottom pair and use it as a check raise instead of a check call and uh michael's just gonna stuff it in and surely that's gonna end it rodrigo's got to have the message a bet a raise and then michael re-raises think the 10 3 is going to go in the muck i mean unless michael has some sort of crazy 8 9 9 10 but no advantage michael you guys who are you guys cheering for are you cheering from michael from south africa or rodrigo from brazil michael with the advantage here a small chip lead we're about to see a wsop bracelet b1 here guys oh and michael with the with the jacks i like that bad flop for the jacks he knows he probably still has the best hand because, I mean, he limps. Rodrigo checks. Yeah, I think Rodrigo with the three high is just going to give up here. I think we're going to see a turn check from Michael. And then maybe a cheeky, cheeky River Valley bet. But no, Michael goes for the bet on the turn. Michael has played this very, very well. Yeah, he's taken, he's taken some aggressive spots and done quite well for sure. All right, ace, ace, ace heads up is pretty massive. Gross spot for Rodrigo, a 24 big blind shove. If he does call, there's gonna be a lot of chops, but oh, it's pretty it's pretty sick spot here with ace four. Your head's up. You don't really wanna be folding an ace, but also like both fold and call here seem like disgusting options. What would you do with Twitch? What would you do Twitch chat? Every time I have a gross spot, I ask Twitch chat. He does fold, it seems very reasonable. Now Rodrigo picks up a good hand. Ace eight heads up is a monster. Gonna be a shove or a small raise. I think he's just gonna jam it probably. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? It, bro, Very Vaughn's was a Hall of Famer and he hit three hundred. I think I'm batting point three 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 percent tonight as well. Big old swing and whiff. <laughs> A lot of strikeouts. A lot of strikeouts, man. Sevens here. Queen Jack. Both big hands here. Oh, no. Rodrigo is going to be in trouble. Surely he's not folding to the flop check race. There are timelines we exist in where this is it. This could be it. Rodrigo might actually shove here. There's a small chance he's just fed up. He's got second pair. Whoa! Rodrigo with the fold! Bet folds the sevens. Second pair heads up. That is crazy and correct in that instance. Well done. Whoa. Just bet folds the sevens heads up. That was spicy. Oh, the seven for Michael. Michael running very well in this heads up. Rodrigo with a little blocker value bet with his queen four queen four gets counterfeited on the river michael with the trip sevens deciding what size to raise he goes for it all rodrigo made a good fold earlier a couple hands ago surely he's a little fed up can he make another good fold here if he calls it's all over baby michael on the verge of being a wsop winner I think Rodrigo can make the good fold here. He does fold. He does fold. That is disgusting. Turns the two pair. Gets counterfeit. If you are Team Brazil, send Rodrigo your energy. Another pair for Michael. Michael hitting a lot of flops here. Heads up. Good turn for Rodrigo. Has the open ended now. There's the bluff. 
Don't think Michael's going to fold. Oh, Rodrigo. Oh, this could be it, man. He might bluff here. It's a good run out for him to bluff. And Michael has two pair. Oh, Rodrigo could shove here as a bluff very easily versus this min bet. This could be it. There it is. He does it. And it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Michael from South Africa is your newest bracelet winner. And 300k into the bank account. Tournament is complete. Good game. Wow, that was a final table. I got one right. Yeah, chat. I got one right. I, I, I felt it. I felt like the shove was coming. And there you go. Michael from South Africa. Africa with some aggressive plays and some good cards won a bracelet a poker dream of mine I've always wanted to win a bracelet congrats to Michael in 300k Rodrigo second place over 200 grand a very wild final table I hope you guys enjoyed it there's gonna be more of these coming as well so if you liked it please just sub to the channel please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and good luck on the poker felt